All right, all right, all right. We are back with the GSMC Wrestling Lawyer Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Just kind of reflect on what we talked about right quick. We talked about our WWE NXT preview, a uh, review, sorry. And now we're going to talk about our AEW Dynamite uh, preview. So let's dig on into it. But before I dig on, uh, dig on into that, I want to remind you guys to use the GSMC, you know, podcast.net. Shoot me your comments, questions, and concerns. This puts your questions up on top so I can see it. We get a number of questions from viewers like you that come in during the show. So then sure that your question gets read on air for the millions of people. Make sure you, you know, you hit up the GSMC podcast on that and tell me your feelings. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Um, most importantly, tell me how you feel about professional wrestling as we speak. AEW, WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, New Japan Professional Wrestling. Sometimes we hit on stardom. Sometimes the ML, uh, MLW, the, uh, the National Wrestling Alliance. You know, it all, you know, kind of happens. So, you know, don't be afraid to hit up that. You know, there are no wrong answers. Remember remember to Superman punch that like and subscribe button to the show. And, uh, yeah, let's dig on into our next segment. We have our AEW Dynamite preview. So, yeah, AEW Dynamite is live tonight from Calgary, Albert. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't start off right. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. AEW Dynamite is live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And it just feels so significant because you have the Owen Hart Cup final sad rest in peace. Obviously, one of the best uh, wrestlers to ever kind of do it, Owen Hart. Um, we have the Owen Hart Cup coming. We have the finals. It's going to be dope. The winner gets the number one title shot at the women's and men's. Uh, you know, and it's going to be decided at all in Wembley Stadium. It's huge. This tonight, Dynamite airing right now. Can't wait to watch it, have it on record. If you, you know, have a burning question about it, or if you just want to, you know, say something about it, you can put it in the chat. Like, I, I'm, you know, when it comes to spoilers, I get those. I honestly, I get this with my friends all the time. They're like, you know, I'm like, hey, dude, how was the movie? They're like, oh, I can't really tell you because I don't want to spoil too much of it. I'm like, dude, honestly, like, you could spoil something and then like once when you finally watch it, you'd be like, damn, dude, that, you know, I still think that's pretty cool. So, you know, obviously, if you're in the chat section, you want to hit up what happened on Dynamite would be, you know, pretty freaking sick. But I don't know. It's pretty crazy right now. You know, obviously, we're heading toward, um, you know, blood and guts all in and also all out. Excuse me, three of, um, you know, the top major pay-per-views of AEW. So I don't know. It should be pretty awesome. First and foremost, uh, you know, something that I kind of wanted to address. Um, you're going to see, and you know, obviously MJF come out, talk about what he did to Daniel Garcia. MJF finally turns heel. Took a little while, like uh, but then a little while is like a month and a half. But, uh, you know, for him, he's just he's just so good as a heel. Like, and it's just so, it just kind of sucks because I love MJF. You know, I've recently become a fan of, uh, you know, AEW, probably approximately like six months ago. But, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on MJF. And, I, you know, I feel, I mean, I mean that sincerely. And when I say that, I just mean that literally you kind of have the company on your back, bro. Like, there's no more Cody. There's no more Jade. There's no more CM Punk. You know, there's no more of these guys. Like, you know, like, you see the ratings. Of AEW, ever since Punk quit in 2023, they went from 90, 950,000 viewers, touching a million here and there, down to 800, down to 700, down to 600. There was a couple of, uh, you know, predicaments where you saw it go down to 500,000 viewers. So, you know, obviously a lot of pressure on MJF. It's not, I honestly, I kind of feel like it's unfair. Uh, but right now he's so over with the company that... Um, if there's anybody that's going to take AEW into the next uh, level, it has to be MJF. Maxwell, Jacob, Freeman, I'm better than you, and you know it. All right, so we have our first match. We have Men's Owen Hart Cup Tournament Finals. The Hangman Adam Page taking on the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. You know, just out of fanfare, obviously I would like to see Brian Danielson come back. But he's been riddled with injuries, talking about his neck injury on social media, talking to multiple uh, wrestling news outlets. And then you saw Hangman out of page straight up come up and he absolutely dissed the elite. He dissed Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, also Kazuchika Okada and Jack Perry, the whole stable and stuff like that. When they thought, they thought bringing in this wild card would ultimately benefit the elite 
Hangman Adam Page is out for blood. He doesn't want anything to do with the elite. Perhaps maybe there could be, you know, kind of like a character turn, which is, you know, I feel like at this point, it's kind of, you know, kind of highly doubtful based on the way AEW has been handling the promotions, the storylines and kind of the matches, you know, the ending of matches in terms of, uh, you know, pay-per-views and stuff like that. Because if you think about it, the elite has kind of gotten everything they've ever wanted. Matthew Nicholas Jackson wins the, you know, AEW world tag team titles. Okada win defeats Eddie Kingston for the continental championship. Jack Perry wins that, uh, that ladder match, you know, I feel like right now all the dice, all the bowling pins are kind of rolling and kind of falling in their favor. Something needs to go wrong. Something needs to go wrong for the elite to kind of just to spice things up. And I'm not saying that because I'm a hater of the elite. I respect, you know, all three competitors, all four competitors. Definitely think they're, you know, high end. Definitely think they're, you know, fuego. But it's just right now a dynamite. Collision, Rampage, you're just seeing the same thing over and over again. I don't want to see Matthew Nicholas Jackson come out every single gosh darn episode. Be like, oh, this person is barred from the building. Oh, you should have thought about that before you challenged the elite. Me and my brother. Like, give it a rest. Right now, you, for a successful storyline to develop within any kind of wrestling promotion, WWE, WWF, WCW, ECW, You need to have a little bit of turmoil. You need to have a little bit of downs. And right now, the Elite has been nothing but on top. Has been nothing but on top. So I feel like this is a great way for Hangman Adam Page to win this match and to be like, you know what? I'm not coming back to Elite. I don't trust you guys. So, you know, definitely think that's in the future. Love Brian Danielson, but, you know, for his own, you know, sake, I think he's going to lose this match. Now, then we have the women's, the women's own heart cup tournament championship between Willow of Nightingale against uh, Mariah May. Love Mariah May. Love the position that she is. You know, obviously she's the confidant. She's the protege of timeless Tony Storm, the AEW World Women's Champion. But then you have Willow of Nightingale. Willow of Nightingale coming off a win from her, uh, from her biggest foe, yet her biggest best friend. This could be a foreshadowing for, for um, a multiple, you know, reasons or multiple different kind of aspects of it i can see willow winning mostly because you know she's been there before she's a former uh Owen Hart cup champion winner and she has a lot of experience within the ring and you know her beating chris statlander could have basically you know and getting rid of her within her stable with stokely could have very much been that nail that you had to take out of the coffin before you could open it up and i was like dude i want to start my new career so willow of nightingale you know could take it like that or tonight, you see Willow of Nightingale being screwed over by a bitter, by a harsh, by a former best friend, Chris Statlander. And then you have Mariah May taking on Timeless Tony Storm at all in. I don't know what storyline plays the best. To be honest, I would probably choose the Mariah May taking on Tony Storm. You kind of have that, you know, that mutual respect, you know, like. Uh, but then like Tony Storm, like, you know, she becomes a little disgruntled, maybe becomes a little, you know. You know, kind of, you know, feels obsolete because her little sister, well, you know, even Mariah may even kind of consider her like a mother figure, although they made out on Dynamite like two weeks ago, which is kind of weird. But th- I don't know. It could be interesting. I feel like this is, uh, I feel like they will sell more tickets. Having Mariah May fight Tony Storm at All In, having a huge buildup, a huge, but then Willow Nightingale is so great. Willow of Nightingale, the moment she wins that ma- that match, she's going to be the baby face. She's going to be the one. And then, um, you know, Thomas Tony Storm is going to have to deal with it. Then we have a Stampede Street fight. Chris Jericho fights Samoa Joe. Obviously, you're going to see uh, Samoa Joe getting some company from Hook. Also, um, uh, Konosuke uh, Shibata. Katsuyori. I think it's Katsuyori Shibata. Don't quote me on that. And then you're going to see Chris Jericho. And you're going you know, to see the learning tree come out. Global four-way glory match. We have Claudio uh, Castanoli against Kyle Fletcher, against Pac, and against uh, Tamahori uh, Ishii. And we also have Swerve Strickland returning tonight to Dynamite. Also, we will hear from the AEW International Champion, Will Ospreay. Ospreay! Ospreay! You know, can't, 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 can't wait. Can't wait to watch uh, Dynamite tonight. Well, guys, do not go anywhere. We're going to jump on into our third segment. We're going to talk about the men's wrestling power ranking. So, hey, do not go anywhere. 